In this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the best practices in terms of adding the navigation menu to your website. The navigation menu builder that we provide within the Web Starts Editor is extremely flexible. Uh, it allows you to display it, make it behave, uh, change the orientation, uh, add as many pages as you want, you basically do just about anything you want with this menu builder. However, there are a few things that we suggest you do to make the best of it. Let's go ahead and get started by adding a menu to this page. Click Add, followed by Menu, and then you can choose to place this menu anywhere you want. Uh, in the body or in the head. I'm going to place it in the head of the page. One of the reasons why is it allows for the site to be a lot more consistent. If you're not currently using the header, I would strongly suggest that you do. Uh, the header and the footer. In this particular case, I'm using the footer uh, on this website as well to have secondary navigation. Um, so for the navigation bar, I want to place this thing into the header. And that way, when I save the page, go ahead and view the website, and I click on any one of these pages, that header is completely static. If I decide that I ch want to change the location of this logo, for example, and I want to just move it over, I have to change it one time and it is changed on every single page because that header is static among every page that it's shared on. So that goes for the menu, that goes for the logo, uh, anything in this header. So again, if you're not currently using the header, strongly suggest you looking at that. Go ahead and move these back and save the page. If I want to add or remove pages or change the order in which they are listed, I can do so over here in the Pages tab. Now you can see that I have the home, who we are, what we do, pricing and contact us page listed on the menu. All these other pages within the website, now I have a lot of pages on this site, but I've chosen not to show them. I have one, two, three, four, five that are visible on this header, or excuse me, on this menu. Now, what people tend to do a lot of the times is they, they, think, they think they need every single page of their website listed in the header. And then all of a sudden their menu j just becomes a huge list of all of these pages. And people don't really know what to do. It's pretty daunting when a site visitor visits your website and sees so many options. So kind of keep that to a manageable number. Whatever that number is, it's going to be different for every website. But I'm only c really concerned about getting people to these specific pages, the home page, who we are, what we do, pricing, and contact us. From within these other pages, I can create secondary navigation or I can create sub pages of these current pages. And I'll show you how you can do that here. Uh, let's take the uh, bridal. Let's say I want to make, uh, let's find the bridal one page. And right here, let's say I want to add that to the menu. And we'll just do the bridal two, just for an example. Um, now, again, we're starting to get a little crowded here of these pages. Uh, and this is really more of a sub page of what we do. So I'm going to go ahead and click pages. In addition to being able to change the order in which these pages are displayed by moving up and down, I can also change how these are listed in terms of being a sub page or not. I'll show you how that's done. We'll take this bridle and then put it under what we do and then just bring it over to the right. And I'll take bridle two and bring it over to the right as well. And we will save the page. Review the page because I, I want you to see the live version of it. And you can see that those are now sub pages of the what we do page. You can even take it one step further and make bridle two a sub page of bridle one. And I'll show you how to do that. Go back to the editor, click pages, and then just drag this over to the right again. And then we will save the page. View it live. And bridle, bridle. So lots you can do. Um, in terms of secondary navigation, the point I'm trying to make here is keep your primary pages on your menu to a minimum. Five, six, ten pages max. I, I just really wouldn't go much further than that. Now that you have all the pages on your menu that you want, you've got your sub pages set up, let's go ahead and address the look of the menu. We can do that by clicking the menu and choosing the choose effect icon. Now, there's a few different uh, 
styles you can choose from and you can take this one step further and customize that style further changing color and other behavior um, this one here has a bunch of different colors because it has text hover uh, button hover background color text color lots of lots of different uh, things that each one of these is going to have a little bit differently um, for this purpose I want to choose a uh, menu with no background and I want to choose white for the text and white for this little underline you can see that uh, here see how that gets bigger thicker and thinner um, play around with these see which one you like best um, but I, for this website I like the way that this looks uh, using the background of the website for the background and then just the uh, uh, menu itself so we'll go ahead and save that and we'll view that lot and that's what she looks like um, in addition to the style the way it looks you can change the way it behaves as well click on the settings cog icon and you can change uh, one of the biggest things you can change is the orientation um, I'm not a big fan of vertical menus but they definitely have a place um, for a specific website I'm gonna go ahead and keep mine in the uh, horizontal position and keep it like that now one thing you might notice is as I get increase the width of this you can see the pages um, dynamically move with that that's because I have stretch menu tabs selected now I can deselect that and now the width of this is going to be dependent on the size of the padding that I manually enter now I can also choose equal width between menu tabs and that just doesn't quite have the look I'm looking for with this particular style um, so I'm gonna deselect that I'm gonna go back to stretch uh, I'm gonna reduce this in size because this is actually will make that a minimum size so I don't want that I want it to be based off of the width of my menu itself I want to be able to dictate that uh, accordingly depending on how many pages I have how much space I have etc um, so that's pretty much the way I want it to look and I'm pretty happy with that if you have any more questions about the menu or how to use it on your website, please don't hesitate to give us a call or shoot us an email. We'd be happy to help out. Thanks.